Halloween will be here before we know it, and you may well already be working with your child on their costume ideas. Here are some safety tips to consider. So we ideally want costumes to be made out of a light and bright or reflective material, and that is to help with visibility to cars when people are out trick-or-treating. If that doesn't work for the costume, then make sure you've got a lighting plan. So that can be flashlights, that can be glow sticks, or other light sources that could maybe be incorporated into the costume. We want to think about footwear. I know it needs to work with the costume, but also people are gonna be out walking around trick-or-treating, so we wanna make sure that feet are comfortable, and we want to make sure that any dresses or robes are not too long so that people don't trip over them. If possible, face makeup and hats are a better idea than masks in terms of people being able to see and not having accidents that way. If a mask is necessary, then just make sure it fits really well. And in terms of makeup, definitely wanna be going for non-toxic makeups. And I always recommend patch testing. So put some of the face makeup you're thinking of using on a different area of a person's body and observing it for 24 hours to make sure that there are no local skin reactions. Those are just a few tips to get you started, but if you've got more questions, call your pediatrician.